Hello and welcome to FreeZone Internet Tutorials. In this section, we are going to show you how to add or modify an autoresponder for an email account within the cPanel control panel. Let's get started. Now first off, we want to make sure we've logged in to the FreeZone control panel. Once you've logged in successfully, you want to click on Manage Emails. And then you want to click manage alongside the domain you wish to add the autoresponder for. Once that's loaded, you want to scroll down. You want to click on autoresponders within the email section. Once you've done that, you want to click add autoresponder. So here we have the character set. Now this is usually set as UTF-8, um, which is default there, and we recommend that you use this. If you scroll down to the interval, now what this will do is this will set an interval in hours for how many times your recipient will receive your autoresponder message. For that, I'll use 24 hours. Within the email field, you want to enter in your email account. So this will be okay. Make sure the domain is selected. The from field here will show you where the email is sent from when your recipient receives this autoresponder. The subject field here is where you'll be able to enter in the subject that the autoresponder will have when it sends an email to the recipient that's trying to get contact with you. And in here, this is the body of the email here, so in here you can enter in your message. I already have one here. There are two ways in, that, in which you can set this up. The first way is by setting it up so that it will immediately start once you create this and it won't stop until you modify it or you can specify a date and time at which it will send and stop sending your autoresponder message. Once that's done, you just click Create, and we'll scroll up, and you can see there that that has successfully been created. Now if you wish to edit this, what you need to do is go back to the autoresponder page, and if you scroll down, you should see a list of all the autoresponders which you currently have set up. If you wish to edit any one of them, all you have to do is click Edit. And from here, you'll be able to change any of the settings that you wish. Once you've done that, once you're happy with all the changes, click create slash modify. And that will modify the changes for you there. Thanks for watching.